Malaysia Airlines flight with 239 people on board, including four Americans. Seven years, Malaysia Airlines flight with seven service on the airplane, 239 people. On March 8, 2014, a Malaysian Airlines Boeing 777 flight MH370 was traveling from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia to Beijing, China, when all contact was lost in the inky blackness over the South China Sea, just after 1 a.m. local time when it disappeared from existence seemingly instantly and forever. The Boeing 777, with 239 passengers and crew on board, dropped off of Malaysian radar screens just after crossing over the South China Sea into Vietnam's airspace. Various theories have been offered as to what happened to the plane, including claims that the pilot intentionally downed the aircraft to a hijacking, and of course, on TikTok, they have video proof that it was abducted by aliens. But that's pretty much how every story on TikTok ends anyway. But recently, scientists have hailed a breakthrough theory not based on speculation or Karen from TikTok, but on science. More specifically, the science of barnacles. Barnacles! SpongeBob! Sorry about the foul language, Mr. Krabs. Barnacles, you say? Yes, barnacles. Based on barnacles found clinging to the various pieces of plain debris from the crashed jumbo jet that have washed up on various beaches over the last decade. But now there is renewed hope that soon the mystery of the missing MH370 will soon be solved. Recently, a team of University of South Florida geoscientists and experts published a study in the journal AGU Advances, which is a journal about, um, well, I'm not really sure what the journal is about. But in that journal, they talk about really scientific stuff. But for those of you with a subscription to the Journal of AGU Advances, I'll include a link to the full story in the description, because it's a really long article about scientific stuff and barnacles. And to be honest, everything I know about barnacles comes from SpongeBob SquarePants. Time to pop my back, barnacles! <laughs> but I digress. But these scientists have a pretty solid theory about how to find the location of what's left of the flight MH370. And they plan to use barnacles to finally find the missing jumbo jet nearly a decade later. According to their theory, on March 8, 2014, Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 departed from Kuala Lumpur never to be seen again, despite a four-year extensive search using sonar imaging technology submersible vehicles, drift models, and other high-tech methods. Pieces of plane debris were found thousands of square miles across the Indian Ocean, with some pieces confirmed to be from the missing plane. One of the MH370 flaperons, a part of the aircraft's wing, beached itself on Runyon Island with several generations of stalked barnacles attached to its surface. At least some of the barnacles were believed to be attached and began growing shortly after the crash. This study contributes the first experimentally derived equation relating oxygen isotope values of stock barnacle shells to sea surface temperatures during shell formation. Associate Professor Gregory Herbert said he was inspired the moment he saw photographs of the plane debris that washed ashore Reunion Island off the coast of Africa a year after the crash. The flaperon was covered in barnacles, and as soon as I saw that, he said, I immediately began sending emails to the search investigators because I knew the geochemistry of their shells could provide clues to the crash location. As an evolutionary and conservation biologist, Herbert studies marine systems with a particular focus on shelled marine invertebrates, such as oysters, conchs, and of course, barnacles. Over the last two decades, Herbert created and refined a method to extract ocean temperatures stored in the chemistry of invertebrate shells. Herbert has used the method previously to determine the ages and extinction risk of giant horse conchs and investigate the environmental circumstances surrounding the disappearance of the Jamestown colony. Barnacles and other shelled marine invertebrates grow their shells daily, producing internal layers similar to tree rings. The chemistry of each layer is determined by the temperature of the surrounding water at the time the layer was formed. 
In this study published in the AGU Advances, Herbert's research team did a growth experiment with live barnacles to read their chemistry and for the first time unlocked temperature records from the shells of barnacles. After the experiment, they applied the successful method to small barnacles from pieces of MH370. With help from barnacle experts and oceanographers at the National University of Ireland in Galway, they combined the barnacle's water temperature records with oceanographic modeling and successfully generated a partial drift reconstruction. Sadly, however, the largest and oldest barnacles have not yet been made available for research. But with this study, Herbert said we've proven this method can be applied to a barnacle that colonized on the debris shortly after the crash to reconstruct the complete drift path back to the crash origin. Up to this point, the search for MH370 spans several thousand miles along a north-south corridor deemed the Seventh Arc, where investigators believe the plane could have glided after running out of fuel. Because ocean temperatures can change rapidly along the arc, Herbert says this method could reveal precisely where the plane is. French scientist Joseph Palpin, who was one of the first biologists to examine the flapperon, concluded that the largest barnacles attached were probably old enough to have colonized on the wreckage very shortly after the crash, and very close to the actual crash location where the plane is now. If so, the temperatures recorded in those shells could help investigators narrow their search. Even if the plane is not in the arc, Herbert says, studying the oldest and largest barnacles can still narrow down the areas to search in the Indian Ocean. Knowing the tragic story behind the mystery motivated everyone involved in this project to get the data and have this work published, said Nassar al Katan, a recent University of South Florida geochemistry doctoral graduate who helped analyze the geochemistry of the barnacles. The plane disappeared more than nine years ago and we all worked together aiming to introduce a new approach to help resume the search, suspended in January of 2017 which might help bring some closure to the hundreds of families of those on the missing plane. So who'd have thunk it? Barnacles. Well, I guess it's the best idea they've come up with so far. Well, that in the TikTok Karen that has the super secret video of the plane being abducted by aliens. But what do you think? Do you think someday using barnacles they can locate the wreck of MH370? Please be sure to let me know down below. Well, that's all I have for now. Thanks for stopping by. And if you would be so kind as to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. Oh yeah. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time. In the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.